welcome back to mini lessons with miss h and today we're doing page 107 unit three week one so the first thing we always have to do is read the directions and let's think about what we've been learning in the classroom about the writing trait organization right so let's review what organization is awesome so organization is the order of a writing piece right could be informative explanatory or an opinion essay or text and it always has organization right so the first characteristic of clear organization or good organization in a writing piece or in an essay is clear introduction body and conclusion the events, information, or reasons are presented in sequential, logical, or strongest order, right? So if you notice, I've separated all this information based on the genre. So events would match sequence. So you would put sequence and events in an informative essay, right? In an explanatory essay, right, you would have information put in logical order. And in an opinion essay, you would have reasons in the strongest order. You always start with your strong reasons first, right? This is what ties it all together, your organization. Many transitions are used correctly throughout the writing. So, in other words, all these characteristics help the audience better understand your topic for informative essay, explanatory, your controlling idea, or your opinion in your opinion essay, right? So these are all things we need to keep in mind when we think about the writing trait organization. First thing we're gonna do is read the draft model, right? Use the questions that follow the draft to add words that tell the order of the ideas, draft model. You use the force of push and pull. When you throw the ball to a player, you use the force of push. When you try to take the ball from a player, you use the force of pull. What words can you add to the first sentence to make it clear? Huh. The first sentence. Think. The first sentence says you use the force of push and pull. I would add every day when you what are they talking about throwing a ball to a player when you play soccer basketball or football right i'm gonna give you one minute to copy that ready set go can you add to the second sentence to make it clearer this is our first sentence let's label them our second sentence when you throw the ball to a player use the force of push number two hmm when playing and then i would put one of these sports right so pick one Pick one of these and write it here, all right? You use 
the force of push. Here we go, you have one minute to do what you gotta do. Ready, set, go. I would use transitional words, right? Remember first, then, finally? So first, in my first sentence, I would write... No, I like that one. Every day. That's, a, that's an intro, so that's fine. For my second sentence, I would write first... When you throw the ball that's the first one I would use then I would use then so here I would write first that's okay it's not gonna fit but just try your best then then when you try to take all right just make sure you put that up there so now we have the words in an organized manner right so this is why when you're writing stuff mr hernandez makes you write it over and check and add transitions and look at your grammar and is there any way you can make the writing better? Because sometimes it's really difficult to understand. Like, I read this little three-sentence paragraph, and I'm, like, confused. First of all, who are you talking to? You know, who's your audience? Are you talking about soccer players, basketball players, footballs? I don't know. Right? Then you're not telling me enough. You don't have enough sentences to help me understand your purpose, which is the force of push and pull. So I already know that you probably don't know what you're talking about because you can't explain it right to me. So I'm already frustrated. I'm already confused. I don't want to read your paragraph. F. I put an F on it and call it a day, right? But no, this is the point of this activity. So you can see, learn from these mistakes and then you realize why we have to have a clear intro, a body and conclusion, events, information, reasons presented in sequential, logical, strongest order and many transitions to connect the writing, right? So don't forget to stay up to date with the latest vids. You know what to do. Subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below. Miss H, good job. Happy face. Miss H, thanks so much for your hard work. Thanks, Miss H. You're such a good teacher. I love you. All of those comments will be more than enough to make Miss Hernandez feel very loved. All right? Until next time. Bye.